Okay guys, this is um, how to show you how to add tracks to your recording. Now, one of the things you need to look at here is that you've got um, obviously ones for voice and ones for jingles. Basically you get different lines here, different tracks, so you have quite a few and you can put different things on. If I were you, I'd keep at least two for vocals because obviously you're going to have more than one presenter and you might have um, people ringing in, etc. So I would keep those separate. Always have one for your jingles or your sound effects as well. You can, obviously, as it shows you in another podcast, how to duplicate this. But if you want to add music, I would put that on its own track on its own so then you don't get mixed up. So if you go to track and then new track, don't click on software instrument or that won't work. Either real instrument or electric guitar. I'm just going to go for electric guitar, press create. And there it is there. This is where you can add your music on these ones. You can't add them on the grand piano um, track because that's for if you had a musical instrument on the computer. It's for you to use on the Mac, sorry. So do that. Um, if you want to um, duplicate a track, I would go to, so say you want um, three voice ones because you're going to have three people talking. Just go click on the track you want, press the track, duplicate track. There you've got another one to use. Uh, same with the jingles track, duplicate track, and then you go until you've got enough. Basically, you don't have to worry. You only have to play about um, 15 seconds or so of music because you're not going to get marked on that. You're going to get marked on the other stuff you do. So if you make sure that you've got rid of... Um, you, you don't need to have lots of different music tracks for putting music on. The jingle ones, I would have a couple because obviously you might have a bed and a seat and theme tunes, so that will make it nice and separate. But music, I just have the one track because you don't need it as you're only going to be playing short chunks of songs. If you want to delete a track, just go to track, delete track, and it gets rid of that one. Just make sure you haven't got anything you need on the on there um, because obviously it will delete that as well.